Hi there, this is Heidi from Cookie Web Consulting and this is another Web Tweaks video tutorial. So, in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to manage your website image gallery. So I've just scrolled down here now and I'm showing you uh, an example of, uh, of an image gallery that you, uh, you know, so something similar to, to what you might have on your website already. So basically you can click on an image, it pops up to the full size, and then you can scroll through each of the images of your gallery. And you could have multiple rows there, you could have as many images as you want in your gallery. So what I'm going to be showing you is how to add a complete gallery like this into one of your pages, also how to delete images and add individual images into your gallery. So let's log in to our dashboard, our WordPress admin screen. There we are. So here's our dashboard and what I'm looking for down the left hand side is the gallery button. And if I use that little arrow there and expand that out, I'll see we've got a number of options there but the, the two that we'll be looking at is add gallery or image and manage gallery. So let's click on manage gallery first and we'll see here that we've already got uh, an example or, or rather a, a, an existing gallery here. So we have a look across there, it's got four images if we did want to delete that gallery, we could just click on that delete button there. But we don't want to delete it. We want to click into it and have a look at some of the images that are in there. So we'll see there thumbnails of all of our images in here. Now, if I did want to just exclude an image rather than delete it, I could just check that exclude button there and save the changes. And then when we looked at the gallery again, that image wouldn't be there. But if you did want to go ahead and delete it, you check this box here, pop into the drop down here and choose delete images. There, click the apply button and you'll see now that that image is gone from the selection here. And if we navigate back to the page which has our gallery on it, you'll see that the image has automatically been deleted from that gallery of images. So that's really handy. It means that you only have to add in a gallery once and whatever updates you make to it within your uh, within this area is automatically going to be applied to any of the galleries that you have on your pages. So let's say I wanted to add an image to this gallery. What I'm going to do is click on this button here, the Add Gallery or Images button. And the first tab that we have up here is the Upload Images button. So I'm just going to click on the Browse button to find my image, my local hard drive, and I'm going to add in the desert image here. So here I'm going to choose my gallery, lovely photos of flowers, and click on the Upload Images button. So give it a little bit of time to upload. The maximum size you can upload is around 16 megabytes, so that would be one very, very large image. Um, normally images wouldn't be anywhere near that size. Um, so it says here, one picture added successfully. So I'm going to click back on Manage Gallery, click on my gallery, and see that that image has been added in. So the other thing that I want you to take note of as well is the, the title of the image and the description box here, which is this box here. And you really do want to think about a hot and dry, let's say. You do want to think about your image title and your image description, because this is a really good place that you can uh, put in your keywords, basically, uh, to help optimize your page for the search engines, for Google in particular. Google does take particular note of your image titles or the, the alt text. Um, and putting in a really good uh, image caption or image description is a you know is, is a is a great way to add extra descriptions into your website for Google and for your for your visitors. So do take the time to add in a good title and a good description. Okay. So 
if we've saved these changes here, we've added in that, that image there, and if we go into the gallery here and hit the refresh button, or Control R in this case, we'll see that the desert picture has automatically been updated into this gallery here. So there's no need for us to, to go into this page and make any changes here. Once you add it into the, to the next gen gallery, it's automatically updated on your website page. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a new gallery and how to add that gallery into one of your website pages. So we're going to go back to our gallery section again here and click on the add gallery and images button again. And instead of adding images, what you could do is create a new empty gallery and then go back and upload individual images into that new gallery. But a really sort of quick and nifty way of doing it is to upload a zip file of images. So if we click on here, this is a really good way if you've got, uh, if you want to do a bulk upload. Uh, so in this case, I've got a zip file on my hard drive here, Gorgeous Animals it's called, and it's only got three images in there, but you know, you could upload uh, a zip file that has five or ten images in it. The only thing you want to keep uh, an eye on is that the zip file itself is under 16 megabytes. So if it's any more than 15 megabytes, uh, the WordPress system and the server is probably not going to be able to handle, to handle uploading file of that size. So if you do have a lot of images to add into a gallery, then I'd suggest that you group them into smaller folders and, and zip them up individually. And then you can upload the, the zip folders one at a time. So we've chosen our, our Gorgeous Animals zip here. And we could upload that into an existing gallery. But in this case, we're uploading it into a new gallery. So we're going to click on the Start Upload button. Now, Depending on the size of your of your zip file, this could take some time. So click on that Start Upload button once and sit back and wait for the magic to happen. Uh, you don't want to navigate away from this page or anything like that. You just want to let it let it do its work. So depending on the, the, the size of the file, that could take some time. We don't have a very big folder here, so that's uploaded quite quickly. And it tells you up the, the top there that the three images have been added successfully and the, the gallery Gorgeous Animals has also been created, the new gallery. So to see the new gallery, we're going to click on the Manage Gallery button and we'll see the new gallery has been created there. I'm just, for the sake of some clarity, I'm going to just update this get rid of the hyphen and add some capitalization. And if I scroll down here, I'll see my new gallery. Once again, take your time to update the, the title, image title and the image description, because that's really handy. So now we want to add it into a new page, or a, a, an existing page in this case. I'm going to click on Pages here. Well, I'm going to add it to this one here, the, the How To's page. I'm going to click on the Edit button. Which is going to take me into the, to the Edit screen here. I'm going to add in the gallery just under this first sentence here. So In my toolbar here, the button that I'm looking for is this one here. And when you highlight over the button, it, uh, it gives you a description anyway. The Add Next Gen Gallery. I'm going to click on that. It's going to give me a pop-up or I can choose my gallery and in this case I'm going to put in the Gorgeous Animals Gallery I'm always going to put it in as an image list Insert and we'll see here that that inserts a nifty little piece of code there don't, uh, don't edit anywhere in that code that's just exactly what we need to add the gallery into this particular page if I did want to delete the gallery then I just delete that text and click the update button and then view my page and there is my new image gallery nice and easy okay and that's it that's how you can easily add in 
fantastic new images and galleries into your website. So thanks for listening. If you've got any questions, please visit the Web Tweaks website and, and, and put a comment there, or you can email us at hello at cookieweb.ie. Cheers. See you next time.